hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make this flower pattern and this pattern can be used as a cup coaster mug mat mini doily even as a pot holder and if you are going to join them together you can make a bed cover table mats table cover and even floor runner as well this pattern is really very easy to make and the techniques that i am going to apply for this pattern are chains single crochet and double crochet so even a beginner can try to make this so we are going to begin now things that we require for this project are a yarn of your choice a pair of scissors and a hook of 2.5 mm so let's get started at first we have to pick up the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now wrap the yarn on your hook pull through pull through pull through pull through these are four chains we have to make 12 so 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 12 now we have to go back to the fourth chain insert the hook in yarn over pull through both the loops this is slip stitch now foundation ring is ready chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the ring pull through there are three loops on the hook pull through two pull through two double crochet two three four five we have to make 24 double crochet into the ring so complete making 24 double crochet and we will meet again when this round would be completed when we have completed making 24 double crochet into the ring we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch now on the top of the fourth stitch we have to make chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space yarn over skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space yarn over skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet two chain 2 for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 2 Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch. So insert the hook and pull through, pull through two. On the top of the fourth stitch, chain three, which counts as a double crochet. On the top of the same stitch, double crochet two. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet one. Into the same stitch, double crochet two. chain 2 for chain space on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 into the same stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space so in this round we have to make four double crochet on the top of two double crochet of the previous round and there should be chain space of two in between each set of double crochet So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to make chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch. On the top of the fourth stitch, chain 3 which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch, double crochet 2. On the top of the next stitch, double crochet one on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the last stitch of this cluster two double crochet on the top of the same stitch chain 2 for chain space on the top of the fourth stitch of the next cluster double crochet one on the top of the same stitch double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet one on the top of the next stitch and on the top of the last stitch of this cluster double crochet one 
on the top of the same stitch double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space so on the top of four stitches of each set we have to make six stitches and there should be chain space of two in between each cluster so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be complete when this round is complete we have to make chain two now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch on the top of the fourth stitch chain three which counts as a double crochet on the top of the same stitch double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch and two double crochet on the top of the next stitch so we have made eight double crochet on the top of six stitches we have increased one stitch on the top of the fourth stitch of this cluster and one stitch on the top of the last stitch of this cluster chain two for chain space again on the top of the fourth stitch of the next cluster double crochet one on the top of the same stitch double crochet two on the top of the next stitch double crochet one double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch and one double crochet on the top of the next stitch two double crochet on the top of the next stitch or the last stitch of the cluster so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain two now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch on the top of the fourth stitch chain three which counts as a double crochet double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch and one double crochet on the top of the next stitch chain two for chain space double crochet one on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch double crochet one on the top of the next stitch and one double crochet on the top of the next stitch chain 2 for chain space double crochet 1 on the top of the fourth stitch of the next cluster one double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next stitch and double crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch we have made four double crochet chain 2 for chain space now we have to make next four double crochet on the top of next four stitches so double crochet 3 and double crochet 4 chain 2 for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 2 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch yarn over into this chain space of 2 double crochet 1 chain 1 2 3 4 join the stitches on the top of the double crochet with slip stitch yarn over double crochet 2 into the chain space of 2 chain 4 join the stitches on the top of the stitch with slip stitch double crochet 3 chain 4 to be joined on the top of the same stitch with slip stitch double crochet 4 chain 4 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the stitch with slip stitch double crochet 5 chain 1 2 3 4 to be joined on the top of the same stitch with slip stitch double crochet 6 chain 4 to be joined on the top of the same stitch with slip stitch double crochet 7 chain 1 2 3 4 to be joined on the top of the same stitch with slip stitch and double crochet 8 now we have to join the stitches into this chain space of two with slip stitch again we have to continue making eight double crochet with 
seven pi chords in between them. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to join the stitches into the chain space of two with slip stitch. This pattern is now complete. These are the color options in which I have made this pattern. You can make the pattern in the colors of your choice. This can be a very good gifting option too. Thank you so much.